Now, did you know that Liverpool was home to Europe's first lending library, or that the modern Olympics was based on an event first held in Liverpool in 1862? Well, those are just a couple of facts you can find out about uh, on the new uh, art trail around the city. Artists from all over the world have been seeking inspiration from Liverpool's triumphs, discoveries and innovations. Elaine Dunkley has been finding out more. It's appearing all over the city. Art waiting to be discovered. First stop, suffragette Mary Bamba. She gave an entire lifetime over to really fighting for the working classes, fighting for the poor, trying to promote rights for women. There are 12 exhibits all over the city. All you need is one of these to discover them. A map to guide you through Liverpool's past, a huge treasure hunt of fascinating facts. On Bold Street, a mosquito hovers, artistic acknowledgement of research into malaria. The explanation of it's really interesting. I think it's a really good piece of artwork. On the pierhead, this huge telescope to observe the talents of a young genius from Toxteth, Jeremiah Horrocks, one of the world's greatest astronomers. I think he was 16 when he, he worked out the transit of Venus, which was in the 1600s, that was a phenomenal thing to do because most people thought the, the Earth was flat to realise actually what was up there and to calculate it. It was amazing. From Lime Street Station to St George's Hall, this is a walk of fame. We've given more firsts, believe it or not, than anybody else. It's fantastic to think what Liverpool have given uh, the world. Hello, Liverpool! There is plenty to shout about. This is an art exhibition putting Liverpool on the map. Elaine Dunkley, BBC North West Tonight. There's always more to that city, isn't there? No matter how always. how go how uh, low you go in digging around, there's always more. The uh, exhibition there is on until the 20th of March, and you can download a map from the Liverpool Discovers website.